you know, there's uh, information technology is central to so much that the state of Colorado does, just as it is for every business in our state. Today we're really excited to join, to sign a bipartisan bill into law. I especially want to thank Representative Titone, Representative Baisley, Senator Bridges, and Senator Priola. They're all joining us, as well as the Joint Technology Committee, and Senator Kolker is here uh, from that committee. Uh, we really want to reimagine IT's role in moving state government forward, making us more efficient, more responsive, reducing cost. And that means making changes to managing cybersecurity better, repealing outdated provisions, how we can build a new IT projects more efficiently, and build out a 21st century IT infrastructure for the state. Uh, we're also joined by Tony Neal Graves, the CIO of OIT, Kate Sneed from OIT, uh, Tracy Burnett, and other uh, folks that have joined us up here, and I'll turn it over to Representative Brianna Tatum. Yeah, uh, this is a, a great honor to be on this bill. Uh, it's really keeping up uh, with IT from where we started when we, when we created the uh, Information Technology Office and bringing it up to uh, what technology we have now and making sure that we're ready for the future because the future of IT is an important aspect of what we do here in Colorado and around the country. And uh, this is going to be a great bill to uh, get us on track for the future. Great. Um, and with that, we'll go to uh, Representative Baisley. Oh, thank you, Governor. Yeah, I'm just proud to uh, co-sponsor this with uh, fellow Joint Technology Committee friends. We uh, no longer um, fold, spindle, and mutilate. We move forward in, in more <laughs> modern terms uh, in executing uh, the responsibilities of of the state and IT, and so, yeah, this is just a really smart bill. Appreciate uh, especially Kate Sneed, uh, who uh, had everything to do with the updated writing of this bill. So. Great, Senator Bridges. Thank you, Governor. Uh, there are two major obligations that I think the state has to the people of Colorado with regard to IT. One is anything that we ask folks to do ought to be as simple as possible, and interacting with government uh, electronically is one of the easiest ways to make that happen, one of the best ways to make that happen. The other is we need to keep data safe. And I know I know we, we work very hard on this at OIT, and over the last few years, I've really seen a transformation in OIT, and this bill is that next step. I also want to thank Kate Sneed for her work in putting this together, and I'm just so impressed with the entire team that we have at OIT, and we have some of the best people in the state working for way less than they could to make sure that the people of Colorado were taken care of. So very happy to be part of this bill. And Senator Priola. Thank you, Mr. Governor. I just want to, <clears throat> again, thank everybody for being a part of the process. Uh, Kate Sneed was very integral, but uh, being on the Joint Technology Committee is, is great. Uh, we work on a lot of timely things. You might see some things that are going on in the news internationally, and I think this bill will help, as well as just generally update the statute to, to meet modern times. Senator Kolker, anything you got to add for the Joint Technology Committee? Thank you, Governor. It's just uh, my first year on uh, Joint Tech. It's just a pleasure to be part of such a big bill, so I appreciate it. And uh, finally, Tony Neal Graves, the, uh, the, the head of OIT. Thank you, Governor. I'd just like to, to thank the entire JTC for all your support in bringing OIT up into the century uh, with our rewrite of our legislation. So uh, it's been a great bipartisan effort, and I just look forward to working with you guys in the future. Let's make it official here. It's officially the law of Colorado. Congratulations right. to our sponsors. There we are. Thank you, Congratulations. Thank you.